Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jack258. Uh, today we're going to be uh, speedrunning. We're, we're starting our speedrunning career. Yay! We're going to be doing Apple Night World 1 Any Percent. Uh, speedrun I've wanted to do for a little bit now. There was no one who had completed this. No one had done the speedrun. Only three people had done the uh, 100%, and that was the only speedruns in this game. But someone took my spot. So we're going to view his run, learn from him, learn how not to die. I'll go grind, uh, not in a video. I'll come back, I'll speedrun, I'll take him down. Yeah, my original plan was, like, it would have been easy to get a world record, right? That wasn't my original plan, though. My original plan was to make a run that couldn't be beaten, and I still intend to do that. It's just going to be harder to get the world record now, so. Yeah. Let's, uh. I want to see the... How do I watch the run? What? Okay. He's using the basic sword, what? Oh, he's using my recording software. Oh, nice. Alright. Um, I do intend to get a sword that has triple jump uh, before I do mine, so that'll make my job easier. Especially with the not dying part. Although on the tutorial, you can't die. It's actually really neat. Um, I should be able to beat this. He's using the basic sword. What is... Like, what? Yeah, he he's gonna fight. He's not gonna be able to kill anything, though. 20 bucks says he dies in at least one of these things. He's going for this! Oh, right. The secret is actually faster? I forgot the secret existed! Okay. Okay. He's gotta die at the red boss fight, right? I'll come later in the run. Uh, yeah, if you guys have actually seen or played this game, yeah. Or if you haven't, I definitely re recommend checking it out. It's a really fun game. Uh, there are a lot of secrets to explore. Uh, of course, you have to go and play casually first if you want to get the money to actually have a good run. Oh, that's a time slowdown right there. If you don't have a projectile or a... I actually have a ability that summons a bat to fly at the enemies for me. That's fun. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't do much damage, but oh well, what can you do? Ooh. Uh, he so clutched it. Wow, he can't even, he's just trying so hard. Oh, and he's dead. He's gonna die here. Uh, I, I've had, um, worse runs than this, but also better ones. I've had runs, um, uh, the only real major time stop I had was on the second to the last level before the boss fight, uh, so level eight. Um, it was really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, uh, like, him stopping and taking his time, things like that, is going to destroy him. Oh, and he dies. Okay. He's on level 5. Th this is why you not only get a better weapon than the basic sword, the guy has 10,000 coins. You you get a better weapon than the basic sword, and also you equip an armor piece. I My armor piece gives me plus 1 damage. That's really good. Also, the current weapon I'm using gives me, like, a sweeping edge that does, like, projectile damage. It's really fancy. But there are better projectiles in the game. Literally every other one. Every other projectile sword in the game. The last three swords in the game. They give you triple jump. I haven't actually beaten the game, by the way. Uh, fun fact, so... <laughs> I haven't finished my casual run-through. And I already want to, um, just 
speed run it. It's a very speed running a game. I I kind of compare the controls to like Hollow Knight, uh, actually, because like it it's very similar. Like the dash is similar to the Shade Cloak dash, except you can't dash through uh, enemies. There are definitely the annoying enemies like the Aspids, although they don't act like Aspids. But um, yeah, the, the wall jump mechanic is a little different. Actually, kind of weird how similarly it controls, despite being on mobile. It feels very similar to play. Uh, that could just be me, though. I don't know. Play for yourself, find out. <laughs> it's free. Uh, this guy, I'm assuming he bought the ad block. I uh, am not allowed to buy the ad block, so I'm going to have a bit more trouble with this than he is. Five seconds every time I load a new level. Sometimes it doesn't, though. Like, 50% of the time it does. Um, as well, I think, uh, yeah, I, like, 50% chance to get a fight I'm gonna die as well. There are a lot of ads, and it's extremely annoying. I didn't see what level he's on. No, no. Oh, level 7. I got through every level without dying, except for level 8. And then the boss fight, well, we just don't talk about that. It's a joke. But yeah, level 8, I died twice on. So yay, I'm equal with him now. Oh, and he's dead. Okay, well. This will be easier than I thought. Maybe. I, I might be able to get the world record. And if no one <laughs> sees this video ever, then I will never have my record broken unless this guy decides to get good. I'm not trying to insult him. And if this guy ever sees my video, then hey, you got a world record for a little bit. Should be proud of that. Like, no. The world record holder for the 100% any, uh, or like the 100% full game, uh, he actually. Excuse? No, he can't do this without dying. No! What? How? I hate that level so much. Uh, anyways, he managed to beat world one in five minutes. Alright, level 9 is actually kind of confusing to navigate at first. Uh, I've played it so many times that it's not anymore. I need some practice on world 8. As well, I need the fire sword, because it shoots 3 projectiles, which is the most projectiles you can have at once in the game. Heck, even in abilities, 3 projectiles is the most. Video lagged a bit there. It's fine. Uh... Oh, there's no way he doesn't die here. His time was... Over eight minutes. Yep. Okay. I I'm honestly feeling really bad for this guy. The he went for a speed run without much practice. He figured out the basic layout of the levels, but he doesn't really know what he's doing all that much. This is just so sad. I I I'm sorry, my man. I didn't know there was an egg there. What? How have I never seen that egg there? Oh, okay. Well, he made it to the end. Uh, <clears throat> No! I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, okay. Well, guess I'm not maximized anymore. Man, that lag. Okay. I have trash internet connection, right? I don't know. My my room literally juts out from my house, so part of it doesn't have insulation. Like, uh, so yeah, I, I have the worst internet in my house. <laughs> but I mean, I can't really record anywhere else. Unfortunately, my family would probably get annoyed with me. Come on, dude. You got this. Okay. Level 10. The boss. With that sword, he ain't gonna do nothing to it. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, go back. Okay. Red wizard. This guy is actually really tough, because in order to hit him with that sword, you have to actually, like, get right next to him. You're gonna run out of apples! No, don't use the apple chuck the entire fight. You're gonna do nothing. Six damage is the most. No. Dude. <laughs> this guy knows. He's fought the boss before. Oh my god. Okay. Oddly enough, the 100% speedrun doesn't actually include getting all the weapons and skins. Probably for the best, some of the skins are hidden behind paywalls. 
Yeah, it makes absolute sense. What am I talking about? I'm insane. Come on, my dude. You got this. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Easy. Beautiful. Oh, uh, this boss gave me so much trouble. I had to watch ads for like 200 coins over and over and over again. It was really annoying. Um. Yeah, good job. Good on you, my dude. Um, so I'm gonna end my video here. Uh, yeah. No oh, small end. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end my video here. Um. I've got to go watch the ads for money. Because <laughs> I'm too lazy to go through the game. I'm not going through World 2. That's a no. Well, I might have to. It would be so much fun. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Kind of short video. But I'm not monetized, so I don't care. Uh, bye, guys.